The word of God in Colossians chapter 1 verse 14 says, In whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. The word of God had clearly stated, it says, you have redemption through his blood. Remind yourself this every day, that I have redemption through the blood of Jesus. I have redemption through the blood of Christ. And I cannot be defeated. I cannot be a prey. Tell yourself every day, by the blood of Jesus, I shall overcome. By the blood of Jesus, I shall be delivered. By the blood of Jesus, I shall be saved. And I shall be set free in the name of Jesus. You see, the word of God in Revelations 14 says, verse 4, These are they which follow the Lamb, whithersoever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men. Dear child of God, because you follow Jesus, you are redeemed. Because you follow Jesus, dear child of God, you are an overcomer because you believe in Jesus. Because you believe in the blood of Jesus. Because you believe in the lamb that was slain, dear child of God. You are an overcomer. You are redeemed in the name of Jesus. God had redeemed you and has called you the first fruit unto God and unto the lamp. Remind yourself every day that I'm redeemed. I'm set free. I'm no more in captivity. I've been delivered. I've received salvation. And I shall reign in Christ all the days of my life. Dear child of God, say this words every day because God has redeemed you. And God has given you the grace that you need to be an overcomer on the face of the earth in the mighty name of Jesus. He says this, a day which followed the lamp, whithersoever he goeth. It says they were redeemed from among men. Dear child of God, what causes men to be down will not bring you down in the mighty name of Jesus. Men may be saying there is a casting down, but you would say there is a lifting up in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Men may be in sorrow. People around you may be lamenting, but dear child of God, you will not lament because God has caused you to receive the redemption from heaven in the name of Jesus. You see, when the spirit of death went over the city, those who were in Goshen, who had sprinkled the blood on their walls, their child of God, who had sprinkled the blood on their doors, on the lintels of their doors, their child of God, they were not touched. When there was sorrow all around the town, those in Goshen, the people of God, who believed in the power of the blood, were preserved. I want you to know today that people may be lamenting, but you will not lament. People may be sorrowing, dear child of God, but God will give you everything you need to rejoice in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He says, Christ had redeemed us from the cause of the law. My God, you are redeemed. You are redeemed because you know Jesus, because you follow Jesus, because you believe in the power of the blood. It is time you mention the blood of Jesus. Mention the blood of Jesus over your home. Dear child of God, there is power when you call on the blood of Jesus. When you call on the name of Jesus, there is great power. And also his blood will manifest greatly and cause you to be redeemed in the mighty name of Jesus. And cause you to be an overcomer in the mighty name of Jesus. And cause you to triumph in the mighty name of Jesus. You see the word of God. In Revelation 12 verse 10 says, And I heard a voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God, my God, and the power of his Christ. He says, For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. God had brought the accusers down. Dear child of God, those who were accusing you, God is bringing them down today. In the mighty name of Jesus. And this would happen through the power of Jesus. Today, dear child of God, you are redeemed in Jesus' name because you have the strength of God. You have the salvation of God. You have the might of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Today, you would have reasons to stand tall. You would have reasons to stand as the overcomer that you are in the mighty name of Jesus. Then he went further to say in verse 11 of Revelation 12. And they overcame. My God, it says, and they overcame. They overcame him by the blood of the lamp. You would overcome by the blood of the lamp. You would overcome every day by the blood of Jesus. As you sprinkle the blood of Jesus in your home, as you say the blood of Jesus in the place of your prayers, 
dear child of God, you will see the power and the blood manifested in Jesus' name. As you sprinkle the blood of Jesus over your car, as you mention the blood of Jesus, you shall be exempted. You shall be preserved. The grace of preservation will come upon you, will come upon your family, will come upon your household through the power of the blood in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It says, and they overcame by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of their testimony. Dear child of God, you shall testify. You shall have the words of testimony on your lips in the mighty name of Jesus because God will cause you to be triumphant in all that you do in the name of Jesus. You shall not beg to survive. You shall not beg to live because you will live as the triumphant one, because you will live as the victorious one in the name of Jesus. It says, and they overcame by the blood of the Lamb. The grace of preservation that flows from the blood of Jesus shall be manifested in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You shall be exempted in Jesus' mighty name. He says, when I see the blood, I will pass over. My God, he says, when I see the blood, I will pass over. As you mention the blood of Jesus, it doesn't matter what the enemies wants to do around you. It will not be able to touch you. It will pass over in the mighty name of Jesus. It doesn't matter what may have been planned out already. What may have been prepared on your path to destroy you, dear child of God, as you mention the blood of Jesus, you shall see the mighty deliverance, the mighty hand of God come to redeem you in the mighty name of Jesus. It says, and they overcame. You shall overcome all the days of your life. You shall be redeemed in the mighty name of Jesus. And everyone who had fought against you, everyone that said you will suffer, every enemy that were wagging their tongue against you, every enemy that was fighting against you, dear child of God, God will make them your footstool in Jesus' mighty name. As the word of God in Hebrews 10 verse 12 says it, it says from henceforth, expecting till his enemies be made his footstool. It says expecting till his enemies be made his footstool. Dear child of God, they would be made your footstool in the mighty name of Jesus because God will bring every single one of them down. Those who were contending against you, you shall be redeemed from them all. Those who had planned evil against you, those who were planning your downfall, those who are masterminding your downfall, dear child of God, God will cause you to overcome them. God will cause you to escape every of the things they are doing against you. And he will send his wrath against each and every one of them in Jesus' mighty name. Every single one of them would regret ever contending against you. They would regret ever fighting you in the mighty name of Jesus. He has redeemed you. He has redeemed you by his blood and you shall be an overcomer all the days of your life in Jesus' name. And then the other part of that Colossians 1 verse 14 says, even the forgiveness of sins. Dear child of God, it says, even the forgiveness of sins. You may have wronged God. You may have done something that is not so right in the sight of God. I pray his blood that cleanses, that washes us to be as clean and as white as snow would wash you clean in Jesus name. Though your sins may be as crimson, dear child of God, everything will turn around today. By his blood, it would wash you clean and it will make you white as snow in the mighty name of Jesus. This is in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. Whatever it is you may have done against God, whatever it is you may have done against man, whatever it is that has taken your peace of mind away, whatever it is that has brought the heaviness of heart to you, God would forgive you today. Just say the blood of Jesus, please come cleanse me. Come cleanse me of my sins. Come cleanse me of my wrongdoings. I confess my sins. I renounce everything. I turn back from the things I have done wrong against you. And I want to assure you the blood of Jesus would wash you clean in the mighty name of Jesus. There is a cleansing power in the blood and it will wash everything clean from your life in Jesus' name. And then you would receive the forgiveness. You would have the boldness to come to God again. You would have the boldness to say, Abba, Father. You would have the boldness again to come before your Maker because He has forgiven you. 
and that could only happen by the power of the blood. May you see the power of the blood manifesting within your life, within your household, and within your family. In the mighty name of Jesus, you would not in any way come to that point where you'll be short of the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, it will be sufficient with you every day. As you mention the blood of Jesus, you will see the redemptive power, the preservation power of God flow through his blood to your life, to your family. In Jesus' mighty name. And if you believe in the mystery of the communion, dear child of God, as you take the communion, as you do that in the remembrance of him, dear child of God, everything that needs to be washed off your system, everything that needs to be cleansed from your body, it shall happen immediately in the mighty name of Jesus. As you believe and take the blood of Jesus into your system, he said to them, do this in remembrance of me. I pray whatever affliction, whatever it is, that was not meant to be in your life, they shall all be gone in the name of Jesus because the blood of Jesus would wash you clean. It cleanses from inside out. You apply it upon your life. It cleanses you. It washes you and makes you white as snow. You take it within and inside of your body. It cleanses your system. I pray that by the blood of Jesus, as you apply them upon your life, everything that you need to see manifesting in your life they shall be manifesting. They shall be manifesting speedily in the mighty name of Jesus. You shall be cleansed. You shall be restored. God will give you reasons to rejoice in the mighty name of Jesus. I celebrate you because the purification power through his blood shall be made manifest in your life in Jesus' name. The word of God in Titus 2 verse 14 says, Who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people zealous of good works i pray that by the redemptive power of god you shall be zealous again for good works in the mighty name of jesus you may have lost your strength you may not have had the flair for god anymore you may have lost your ability to pursue god today everything will change again and you shall be zealous again it may have been as the result of that sin. It may have been as the result of some errors you had made. It may be due to weaknesses, due to infirmities and sicknesses. Dear child of God, as you apply the blood upon your life today, everything shall be restored and you will be bouncing back again in the mighty name of Jesus. God will cause you to testify of what the blood did in your life in Jesus' name. The word of God says, And they overcame by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of their testimony. After the application of the blood comes the testimony. Just as they had the testimony in Goshen, how God preserved them, so would you have your testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. Such as the apostles who had that supper with Jesus and partook of the blood had a testimony of a unique and wonderful life, so would you have your testimony in the mighty name of Jesus, in every way possible, in every affairs of life, God will cause you to testify as you apply the power of the blood in Jesus' mighty name. I pray the potency of God, the potency of God's power through his blood shall be made manifest in your life today and forever in Jesus' mighty name. I celebrate you because it is settled, it is done, and you shall receive the blessings of God in fullness in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you and shalom.